This video will be showing the steps for a server install of BioConnect Enterprise with Paxton Net2. For steps for a client install of BioConnect, check out our client install video. If you are upgrading or reinstalling BioConnect, please watch our video on migrating and upgrading BioConnect. To skip to a specific step in the setup assistant, use the time codes in the description below. Before installing BioConnect, also ensure that the login you are using to run and install the software has admin privileges for the local system and the server where the BioConnect database will be created, as well as at least read privileges to your ACMs database. If you don't have the necessary privileges, please contact your IT department. Before the support video starts, we'd like to introduce you to BioConnect Insights. Do your biometric devices ever drop below acceptable authentication rates? If so, they may need maintenance to restore peak functionality. BioConnect Insights is a new feature within BioConnect Enterprise that sends a notification to system administrators when the devices require maintenance. Addressing maintenance issues before devices go offline ultimately protects your organization from break-ins or costly repairs. Feel free to ask your technical services advisor about Insights or check out our YouTube page for a demonstration. Ensure that your server meets these requirements before installing BioConnect. You also need to make sure that your ACM version is not too old. To check ACM compatibility requirements, please refer to the BioConnect installation guide. Links to installation guides can be found in the description. Links to download BioConnect Enterprise can be found in the description below. Once you have downloaded the BioConnect installation package, open it and go to the integration software folder. Run BioConnect. Agree to the terms and conditions and click Install. Select Server Install. Here, you can select which BioConnect components to install. Select all four and click Next. Continue with any installations that you are prompted to run. When the installation is complete, launch BioConnect. This will open the BioConnect setup assistant. Click Next. This page lists the latest features and improvements made to BioConnect in the version you are using. Click Next. To learn how to license BioConnect with an online or offline license, watch our video on licensing the software. For this video, I'll be using a trial license. At the service credential step, you need to enter the login and password for a local administrator on your computer. If you are logged in as an administrator, you can find your username by opening command prompt and entering who am I. What is behind the slash will go in the first box of the login. What is in front of it goes in the second box. Once you've input your credentials, click login. Click next. If you would like to install a new instance of SQL 2008 R2 locally and have a new database for BioConnect created, choose Express Setup and follow any instructions you are given. If you choose Express Setup, please skip to this timecode. If you would not like to install a new instance of SQL 2008 R2 and connect to an existing server, choose Custom Setup. Enter the name of the server where the SQL instance you want to connect to is installed. If you don't know which SQL instance you want to use, open SQL Management Studio on the server where you want to create the BioConnect database. To see all available instances, drop down the menu. You can use any of the instances here to install BioConnect's database as long as they are running on SQL 2008 R2 or higher. To check if an instance is running on SQL 2008 R2 or higher, Select it, and then click Connect. Right-click on the instance in the left pane and click Properties. Ensure that the version is 10.50 or higher. If the instance has a recent enough version, take note of the name and type it next to Server Name in BioConnect. Enter a name for your BioConnect database. To create the BioConnect database, click Create. If this fails, it is most likely because your login doesn't have full privileges for the server where you are creating the database. Click Test. Click OK. Click Update. 
Click OK. Click Next. If you are using only Suprema devices, use the default settings and click Next. If you are using Cabinet Shield, deselect Use Default Settings and select Cabinet Shield. In the drop down menu, select Paxton Net 2 and click Next. Enter the IP of the server where you have Net 2 installed. The default server port for communicating with the Net2 SDK is 8025. Keep this value unless you have a different server port. Input the username and password for a Net2 operator. The operator must be at the system engineer level. Click Test. Click OK. Click Save. Click OK. Click Next. Here, you can choose ports that the various BioConnect services will be using. If there are no red boxes, all the ports are clear. If this is the case for you, please skip to this timecode. If a box has a red outline and a star next to it, this means the port is being used by another application or service. Usually, this is because the services of either BioStar 1 or 2 are interfering with BioConnect. Please stop their services while using BioConnect. If you still see this or you aren't using BioStar, you have two options. The first is to choose a different port for the service. Changing the ports for Suprema Gen 1 or Suprema Gen 2 is not recommended because if you forget which port you input, you may not be able to add new devices into BioConnect unless you run through the BioConnect Setup Assistant again to set a new port. The other option is to stop any other services from using these ports. To do this, search an open resource monitor and click on Network. Open the Listening Ports section. Under the Port column, find the port which has a red outline in BioConnect. Take note of the program that is using the port. Next, open Task Manager. Click on the Details tab and find the task with the same name as the program in Resource Monitor. Select it and click End Task. If the program returns immediately, stop its services under the Services tab. Now, when you retype the port, there should be no red box. Make sure that the program you closed isn't running whenever you are using BioConnect or there will be a port conflict. When you are ready, click Save. Before leaving this page, take note of these ports, especially if you change any of them from their defaults. If you forget these, you will have to run through the Setup Assistant again to view them. When you are ready, click Next. Enter your server's IP. If you use 127.0.0.1, which defaults to the local IP, remote clients will be disabled and won't be able to connect to the server. Click Test. Once BioConnect is finished, click Next. Click Start. Once BioConnect has been started, click Next. Click Finish. BioConnect will open. The root level username is Entertech and the password is Bobcat. To change the root level password, please watch our video on BioConnect's basic features. For more help, please visit support.bioconnect.com and check out our other videos.